What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Club here back with another video. And in this one, we are going to be talking about the New England Patriots making some roster moves already this offseason as they have extended linebacker Harvey Longy for another year. Now, Harvey Longy was expected to hit the open market just a couple months in March, wasn't expecting his market to be anything big. But of course, with teams like the Jets, who he was formerly with, and of course, not to mention former Belichick disciples who could potentially become head coaches, Belichick decided to sign him to a one-year extension before he hits the open market, essentially meaning that Harvey Longy will now be a free agent in 2023 as he signed through the 2022 season. Now, Harvey Longy originally did start his NFL career with the New England Patriots, as a UDFA, he spent a couple of seasons with the Patriots before he went and signed with the New York Jets, which he signed there for a couple of seasons also, before returning to New England this past offseason. Now, since his time with the Patriots, Harvey Longy has been mainly a special teamer. Even with the New York Jets, he mainly was a special teamer, but once he transferred from New England to New York... The Jets did give him more opportunities as a defender than the Patriots originally did. Unfortunately for, unfortunately for Harvey Longy, he did not finish his first year back in New England as I'm sure he planned as he only played about seven games before he was placed on the injured reserve after spraining his MCL in October. Now the Patriots did actually bring him back to practice, which does indicate usually that a player is going to be activated. There is about a 21 day window for teams to activate a player that does return to practice from the injured reserve, but the Patriots never actually activated him. It did just look like they were trying to get him some extra practice. And the linebacker core seems to be something that Belichick is worried about for the 2022 season very early on. Now, guys, let's keep in mind that we do have some key upcoming free agents, specifically at the linebacker position. Now, Dante Hightower, he's going to be a free agent. Jamie Collins, he's set to be a free agent. Jawan Bentley, he's set to be a free agent. I mean, three of the Patriots' top four linebackers are set to be free agents in just a couple of months. Let's remember back in September, the Patriots extended Raekwon McMillan, who went out with a season-ending injury during training camp, to a one-year extension. Now, even before free agency starts, Belichick is now extending Harvey Longy to another one-year extension. It looks like Belichick's definitely trying to make sure that he has insurance policies rolling into this offseason and potential training camp OTAs once those do begin at the linebacker position. He definitely wants to get familiar faces in here. And guys who actually know this system, as again, let's remember the Patriots don't have a lot of money to spend this offseason. So guys like Dante Hightower, Jamie Collins, and Juwan Bentley could very well all be out the door. This linebacker core for next season, even before the additions or re-signings in free agency, before the draft, before trades, is going to look really, really interesting. Therese Hall, Anthony Jennings... Um, Harvey Longy, Cameron McGrone, Raekwon McMillan, Ronnie Perkins, Josh Uche, Kyle Van Noy. This linebacker core is definitely filled with a lot of question marks because you look at, again, the three main guys that are going to be uh, hitting the free agency market in Dante Hightower, Jamie Collins, and Juwan Bentley. Those are the Patriots' top three out of their top four linebackers. The rest of these guys really come in as rotational slash depth pieces who next season could be genuine starting pieces due to the fact that the Patriots don't have those quality starters in front of them. Now, I actually do like the addition of Harvey Longy extending him. I do want to see him in another consistent year with the Patriots, not just these constant one-year deals. He was looking really good in camp. He was looking pretty decent even in the regular season. He was somebody that... When guys like Hightower or guys like Jawan Bentley or guys like Jamie Collins were going out with injuries or even guys like Josh Uche, Harvey Longy was the guy who got the call up. We haven't seen him have too many defensive opportunities, so there is still a lot of question marks as I do believe that he is still growing in that aspect. I mean, like I mentioned before, he's mainly a special teamer. 
I mean, week one of this past regular season, he played 43% of Patriots special team snaps. Week two, 56% of Patriots D or, uh, special team snaps. Uh, week three, 62%. Four, 66%. Week five, 48%. Week six, 64%. And then week seven, 26%. As where you look at his usage defensively, the most he got was nine snaps in week two with 12%. Now, he did also get two snaps defensively in week four and then got five snaps defensively in week seven. Now, to me, Harvey Long, he's not going to be your casual thumper at the linebacker position that Belichick really loves. For example, he's not going to be your high tower, Landon Roberts or Jawan Bentley. He's a guy who is going to be more of an off the ball linebacker, a guy who can set the edge from time to time, but someone that is really more utilized as a coverage linebacker, which you don't really hear too much with Patriots linebackers these days, as that's not exactly the mold that Belichick looks for. This past year, Harvey Longy recorded an overall PFF grade of 59.5, a run defensive grade of 53.4, and a coverage grade of 64.7, one of the best of his entire career. I actually think that is the uh, top best of his entire career. He was given six run defensive snaps this past year with the Patriots and 10 coverage snaps, which kind of puts into perspective how the Patriots view him and utilized him. Now, I don't think this is really a move that Belichick is thinking of defensively. I truly do believe that this is one of those moves where Belichick is bringing in a guy who knows the system, bringing depth at a position that is going to be a concern this offseason, but mainly making sure that that special teams stays as intact as possible. Before we end this video, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsors of the channel, BetOnline.ag. Guys, BetOnline, they are continuing to be here. They're better than ever as we enter the postseason, continuing playoffs, heading into the Super Bowl. Now is the best time to make some money and bet with BetOnline. As always, BetOnline is your number one spot for all pro and college football action this season with a new updated site and interface and even more odds, props, and contests. BetOnline continues to be the number one source for everything football. All you guys have to do is head to their website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 100% off welcome bonus. That is double your initial deposit just for signing up. Don't forget to use that promo code NFL100. Again, that is NFL100. All the way from football to basketball to boxing, right to your favorite Vegas casino games. Do not wait to take advantage of all of the amazing offers still available for the 2021 season. This is Ben Online, your online sportsbook experts, and Ben Online, the fastest and the easiest ways to bet on all of your favorite sports. But the Patriots is stand linebacker and special teamer Harvey Longy to a one-year extension. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section below. Remember to leave a big like on this video and subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. But like always, I appreciate you guys for watching this one, and go Pats!